Adrian Broner. When I say Adrian Broner, you really had me. I really thought you was putting it together, but this, here's my assessment on the fight. You look the same. You look like after you fought Madonna. After you fought Madonna, you look like you ain't never had it after you fought Madonna. I mean, you, you had trickles of it. You had that flair, but you done lost it, bruh. And I really think it's due to you rapping, partying, being out in the limelight, and that, you know, drinking and all that, that don't mix with boxing. When you live in that fast life like that, that's why Floyd told you, he said, are you a rapper or a boxer? You know what I'm saying? And you notice Floyd, he don't even mess with that liquor like that. Anybody that's working out, you know, you can be an occasional drinker, but you can't, man, drinking that hard liquor and trying to make a comeback and all that stuff, man, it's over with, man. It's over with. You did not let your hands go. Blair Cobb, shout out to him. He beat you, knocked you down. They say he knocked the tooth out your mind. Man, it's time to hang it up, bro. Hang it up. Hang it up. You can do comedy or find you, you know, do commentating. Man, start your life over. Because boxing, is it, it, boxing and paid you. I don't know how you is financially, but if I was you, just get out of boxing. Get out of boxing. Retire. Start your life over. It's life after boxing. You know what I'm saying? You, you, go, you, you, you might not be able to enjoy the life that you once had but you can start off small and work your way back to the big things you know what I'm saying you can have a, a, a pretty decent life and, and, and more or less this is that calm down period you know what I'm saying do what Sean Porter doing Sean Porter doing commentating he moving all around the board Sean getting it and that's how you gonna have to do but Sean a champion you a champion it's time to hang it up. And shout out to Calvin Ford and Kenny Ellis for trying to put you back together, trying to look out for you. They did a good job with you. They tried, man. And that's all you can do. You know what I'm saying? Tank reached back for you. That's all you can do. But I really think this is the reason why Tank had to get away. Because if you go, if you go early on to Adrian Broner's career, Tank was hanging around them. They was partying, stuff, things like that. And then all of a sudden, Tank was gone. Tank was gone. And I really do think Calvin said, uh-uh, uh-uh. That ain't the way we do things over here. We got to get back and bite down and do what we do. Because remember, Tank came in over overweight and he had to relinquish that belt. You know what I'm saying? Wake up call. You can't, that partying and stuff, do not mix with boxing. It don't. It don't mix. You got to be on your craft. Mayweather was on his craft. Floyd was on his craft. Tank back on his craft. And I, I, I really, really, I really think that fighters should be humble. Do what you got to do in the ring, then talk, once you get the job done. On this note, Adrian Broner, shout out to you. Thank you for all these promising years, but it's time to hang it up, bro. It just ain't there no more. Peace.